Hey everybody, it's Captain Hooch here. Today on Getting Good, we're going to be talking about power management, specifically the pips to your systems, engines, and weapons. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what will happen as you change the pips in these three different systems. On these five screens, you can see each one has a different number of pips and weapons, and it shows how long you can fire your lasers before you have to recharge. Of course, not all weapons are made equal. As you'll see here, we are firing a multi-cannon. This is a large multi-cannon on the underside of the ship, with four pips and weapons. And as we slowly reduce pips, you'll notice the capacitor doesn't really drain until we get down to no pips. So, remember, kinetic weapons are always more efficient at power than thermal weapons. But they're also not as good against shields and there's ammo, so pros and cons. Another thing you may want to keep in mind is that when using thermal weapons, you can pop a heat sink, and the heat sink will actually slow down the rate at which your thermal weapons drain, as you'll see right here. As soon as the heat sinks heat finish sink deploying, deployed. you'll notice the weapons drain a lot faster. You can get a few more seconds of fire by popping a heat sink. Now we'll show with pips to shields what happens to your shields and how much they can take. With zero pips, we fly right at the station, crash into it, shields offline, did some damage to our hull. One pip in shields. Shields survived barely. Two pips in shields. Shields survived again, but then we bounced, hit something, knocked our shields off, and did damage to the hull. Three pips in shields. And we still have a ring left. So if we bounce, we might not hurt ourselves. And finally, four pips and shields, and oh look, we still got two rings of shields left. So, yeah, when you're getting shot at, you want to put some pips in systems. Oh yeah, I didn't record footage of this, but also remember, systems controls your chaff as well, so... If you have low power in systems, you may not be able to pop a chaff when you need one. And finally, to cover something we already know, at least I assume we do, the more pips you put in engines, the faster your ship is. It also, however, will change where the blue zone is on your speed indicator, which is where you should have your speed for the tightest turning radius. So the more pips you have in, the higher up it'll be on the speed, the faster you can make turns at. The lower down your pips are, the lower it will be on the speed indicator, meaning the slower you have to be to make your tight turns. So that's something to keep in mind when you're fighting. But for now, this wouldn't be a getting good video without some controller cam footage and some epic music, and me shutting the hell up. So, without further ado, cue the music, and let's kill this courier. There you go. Courier dead. We've successfully managed our power throughout the battle. Now, I know a lot of you might be telling me soon, Hey, Hooch, your power management game isn't the best. Perhaps you need to get good. Hey, you're right. It's not my strongest point. 
but that's why I do these. Not only am I helping you guys get good, I'm helping myself get good, because practice makes perfect. Anyway, for now, it's Captain Hooch signing off. Good night, everybody.